Hello, and welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Pennywise six-scale figure from It, Chapter 2, by Hot Toys. We're going to start by removing that slipcase with the iconic red balloon. Here we have the graphic arts box. We've got the logo. We've got a great photo of Pennywise here. When we open up the cover, come home and play with an awesome picture of Georgie there and a brief glimpse at the six scale figure there. But let's take a closer look now. Now here is everything you can expect to see once you get these trays out of the graphic arts box. Up first, we've got the top tray here with the accessories and swap out hands. The middle tray or the main tray with the figure and other accessories and the bottom tray here with the stand and base. Okay, let's take a closer look at all of these pieces in just a little bit more detail. Up first, that terrifying Pennywise six scale figure, alternative head sculpt, Jack in the box, we got Georgie's paper boat, that iconic red balloon, that rain gutter base with dynamic action stand, severed hand, skateboard. Now back here, we've got a pair of attack hands We've got two sets of gesturing hands, and right up front, we've got three individualized hands that are used for different purposes. Now, let's take a closer look at each of these pieces. We're starting with that incredible sculpt based on the likeness of Bill Skarsgård. I mean, absolutely horrifying. The makeup is just out of chapter two. It's so, so incredible. Now. You can see it here a little bit, but there is some texturing on the forehead, like Pennywise has in the films, uh, where that makeup is sort of deteriorating. I mean, it's, it's perfectly re-executed onto this figure. And again, with that hair sculpt as well, it looks so, so good. And you come down here, and you've got the ruffling on the collar here, that neck piece. Again, cut and sew, such a great cut and sew job on this whole piece. You've got those middle, almost red nose pom-poms here. More awesome cut and sew action. You've got a bit of a weathered belt on here. You can tell Pennywise has been wearing this for quite some time. Now, before we go any further, I want to show off, look at the detail on the glove. Now, the glove is sculpted, but inside on the wrist here, you've got more ruffling here and here, two different cut and sew pieces. And then on the wrist, you've got more, I believe they are eyeballs in the film. And they are those little dangling pom-poms that are on the bottom of his wrist as well. More cut and sew on the end of the shirt as we get into the cloth element on those big poofy pants. Pretty similar all, all around. Pennywise's sort of leg warmers, what you can see that covers just over his knees there. Again, fabric as well. More of those eyeball looking pom-poms on the bottom of his ankle. And the bigger red nose pom-poms here on the shoe with some weathering around the boot. It's time to take a look at articulation. We're gonna start with this terrifying head sculpt. It's really fun. It can move 360 degrees to further give you some nightmares. This is how far Pennywise can look down. Up. You can even tuck his face in just a little bit. It is a single ball joint on the neck there. This figure has a great 90 degree range of motion there at the shoulder. As far as moving the arm forward with articulation, you can get 90 degrees. Just be mindful of the fabric, of course, as you should be with all of your six scale figures. You can get 90 degrees going backwards. And these do have a bit of a butterfly joint, as you can see, so they move forward. They do move at the bicep as well. Again, just be mindful of that fabric, but you can see it does move there at the shoulder. And then we got the elbow joint there. 
and the wrist moves 360 degrees. I'm gonna move him back a little bit so you guys can see exactly how much articulation this figure has at the trunk because it really does. So he can move so well, allowing for so many nightmarish poses. And there we have it again. Great side to side as well. You can see it there. Now let's go up and down at the abdomen. Best way to do that is this way. Of course, he moves back so terrifyingly, because why wouldn't he? It's Pennywise. And forward really well. Okay, it's time to look at hip and leg articulation. I'm going to turn to the side here so you can see full 90 degrees here on Pennywise. Knee joints here. It is ratcheted and double jointed. You can hear it zipping in. And that's how far back the leg itself will go. Now I'm going to show you how far out you can kick this really far out. You can almost do the splits. Moving on to the ankle. The ankle is on a ball joint, so you can move it 360 degrees. You can move it up till about there. And back till about there. And it does have some side to side range of motion. We've got so many incredible accessories with this figure, but we're gonna start with that alternative head sculpt. Look at the teeth on this guy here. Same makeup style, that red nose, but you can see very terrifyingly those teeth. Look at the side profile. You can see how far the teeth come out. They've got like such an insane texture to them as well. Still got that makeup weathering there and here. And again, that sculpted hair all the way around. Truly horrifying. Okay, we've gone and swapped out the head sculpt on the Pennywise figure. Here we've got the uh, teeth out, that battle version of the head sculpt. Now again, it does have the same range of motion as the other one, again, 360 degrees. Up next, we've got that Pennywise Jack in the Box figure. Now again, these pieces in the trays will come separately, but they do key in together. You've got the Pennywise uh, Jack over here, and of course, the box. Now it's fun because this does articulate. It actually moves there, and it keys in very simply right up top here. Really easy. And again, you can see the level of detail all the way around as seen in the film. Here we have the SS Georgie. Now this is not made of paper, but it does look just like Georgie's paper boat that we see in both films. You can see the signature there, SS Georgie, and on the other side, more of that same manila color. Here it is, that iconic red balloon, nice and translucent. You can see right through it like a real balloon. Unlike a real balloon, this is actually a nice, hard, durable plastic with a firm rope here. The rope is not poseable, so please be careful there so you don't break it. It actually keys in to a very specific hand. You can see the detail all the way across right there at the beginning of the balloon. Okay, let's take a closer look at that skateboard accessory that comes with the figure. You can see the phrase won't be there for him either, question mark. Now, horrifyingly, we've got blood on each end of the trucks there. On the wheels, the wheels do move, you can see them there. When we flip it over, you've got a great print of like a faux grip here, and the four screws signifying that's where the trucks go on each side. Now here is the severed hand accessory that does come with the figure. You can see the wet gore effect that they've added here on the bottom, and there is some damage on the palm and on various fingers and on top as well.
Next, we're gonna be taking a look at all of the swap out hands, starting with this pair of attack hands with those damaged gloves you can see here. While they are individual sculpts, I am gonna put one down so we can take a closer look. You can see the battle damage on these here. You can see Pennywise's actual skin underneath that, the claws and more of the ripping and weathering on the palm. Here we have an identical set of swap out hands. These are Pennywise's fists. Put one down so we can take a look. Um, very simple, you can see the stitching there. You can see the tense hand gesture. Here we are with another set of swap out hands. They may seem identical, but the finger positioning, they are slightly different, but you can see the same stitching on top of the hand there. And again, these are just another pair of swap out hands. Here we have a completely unique gesturing hand with slight difference on the positioning of the fingers there. But of course the rest of the sculpt is just as good as the rest. Here's another individual and unique swap out hand. This hand is not only for pointing, but it can actually hold Georgie's boat. That's right, it can hold the SS Georgie. And lastly for our swap out hands, this is the hand that holds that iconic red balloon as seen in both films. Now with that balloon accessory snugly keyed into that swap out hand right up top there, you can recreate so many horrifying moments from the film. Now, just like the rest of the figure, the base is unique. Comes in three different pieces, dynamic flight stand, piece number two, which has got that faux grass, and piece number three with that name plaque. And they all do key into each other. You can see here, that piece over there keys in right here. Of course, we've got a sculpted grass here. This looks like a bit of the sidewalk that you see in the film. And again, more of that translucent water effect with just a touch of red there. Uh, and again, you know what that's from if you've seen the film. And possibly one of the most unique elements of this base is that the Pennywise head sculpt, either one, fits nice and firmly right there creating a really cool and terrifying effect. This has been the Pennywise six scale figure from It Chapter Two by Hot Toys. For more information about this figure, follow the link below. And be sure to watch Unsealed and Revealed, where we'll take a more in-depth look at this figure and showcase some of its different pose options live. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.